Today we're gonna be adding a oh, new battery to my Nissan Xterra. I went with the Odyssey Extreme Series. I'm gonna be running a lot of lights and things on this truck, so the hope is that this battery will be able to keep up. My old battery is about five years old and it just gave up the ghost. We're gonna go put this in my truck. Let's go outside to the garage. Step one, we need to open up the hood. On the Frontiers and the Xterras, the latch is right here. Just pull it and that will release the hood. So after you pull the release handle on inside the truck, you're gonna have to come back out and lift up and you'll notice it doesn't open up all the way. The reason for that is there's a safety latch right there. And so what we're gonna do is we're just going to take my finger and push it to the left and then push up. Next, we're gonna go and grab this guy to support the hood. So let's take a quick look at the old battery here. You can see that it's pretty dirty. On the negative side, the terminals are pretty good. Over here on the positive, there's quite a bit of corrosion happening right on the terminal and on the connection. So we're gonna wanna make sure that we clean that up before we put the new battery on so we have good contact. To get the battery out, we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna start with the retaining bracket. For some weird reason, on this side I need a deep socket, so let me go grab that real fast. Couldn't find my deep socket, so I'll just use this guy instead. Cool. Easy. So we have a little bit of corrosion on the inside here too, so I'm going to clean that up also. Let's see that there. This nut is really, really corroded and gross. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump it in a cup of white vinegar. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna clean up the corrosion on there. Now, I can take the battery out. Cool. So everything's disconnected there. It means the battery can just lift out pretty heavy so you might want to get some leverage on it okay there it goes now if you can take a look in there you can see that nut's been sitting in there for just a few minutes and you can see that there's already quite a bit of corrosion coming off of the nut what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use that same vinegar and I'm just gonna clean up the terminals so that we have good contact when we put the new battery on. So I grab Q-tip. I would really, really advise being careful with the toothbrush. If you try to scrub back and forth, it's gonna spray back at you and that's not a good idea. So this is a little bit more predictable and gentle. So I'm having trouble getting all the stuff out of the crevices there. So I just feel like dipping it is a lot more effective. So I got a deeper cup this time. And it's funny, as soon as it touches, it's crazy how this stuff just Look at that, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but as soon as it touches, things just start melting into the vinegar. So I'm just gonna let it sit in there for a little bit. Be careful not to touch these electronics. I think these are fuses, I'm not really sure what they are, but I'm not about submerging them, but I just wanna submerge this terminal end. Yeah, it's much nicer now. Cool, I think I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna let it dry off and then I'll, put, I'll clean up the battery tray here. Also, I need to remember to clean off all the crap that's on the inside of here. So just for fun, there's still a little bit of corrosion on there, but I just wanna kinda show you how crazy fast, as soon as it touches it, you can see the corrosion coming off of the bracket. It's just vinegar just eating it all off. It's crazy. Now it's time to put the new battery in. This is kind of cool. It's got the little installation date on here. So I'm just going to circle June. And today is the 8th. And I'm just going to put the year 2019. Oh dear. Ooh. Oh. 
Uh oh. Something fell. Oh, fun. Now, make sure that you remember that red goes to positive and black goes to negative here. You can lift the caps off. Next, I'm going to put the brackets back in. I gave them a quick rattle can refresh just because they were a little bit eaten up by um, rust and some of the lead that got on them. So just made them a little bit prettier. I may or may, or may not have inhaled some of the fumes. So a little happy right now. Cool. Batteries in snug. Let's go ahead and tighten these down. So I definitely think the battery, this new battery is shorter than the old battery. Because I have to push these terminals down pretty far. All right, so if you notice here, there's a pretty extreme angle here. Um, and I'm not really excited about that. I don't want to break any terminals or any of these connections. I actually went over and measured the old battery and the old battery is about an inch taller than this new one. Got the battery out again. And what I did was I, I found some spare foam. This came with a battery for my motorcycle and it's a universal fit battery. So they give you foam like this to kind of act as a spacer. These are not all the same thickness, but what I'm thinking is if I can compress uh, everything down to the smallest one it should work so I'm just gonna space them out inside the tray here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the battery back in and then crank it down cool so that's in there pretty good it's a much natural much more natural angle here just not a whole lot of tension on this connector anymore so I feel a lot better about that now let's see how we did Oh yeah, cool. If you missed the other video on the install of my steering wheel, make sure to go check that out. This is super cool, I'm really, really digging this. Um, I'll actually post a link to it so you can watch that later, but um, that's pretty much it. Super easy to put a battery in the truck. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be wiring up some new lights. That's why we have such a extreme duty battery. And if you like this video, make sure to hit like and make sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.